welcome back to our kitchen and today Bryce and I are going to show you how to make this delicious chicken stock. Let's get started. For today's recipe you will need a stock pot, one and a half to two pounds of chicken bones. They do have to be pre-roasted. So all I did here is I just kept this container in my freezer and every time I cook chicken with bones, I just threw the bones in there. Um, or you can roast a whole chicken, it's completely up to you. You will also need two carrots, one onion, two stalks of celery, salt, and pepper. And then for today's aromatics, I'm gonna be using rosemary, thyme, and bay leaves. You can choose any aromatics that you would like. I just really like these flavors. So that's what we're using today. It's super simple and easy. So let's get started by chopping up our vegetables. This can just be a really rough chop. It doesn't have to be peeled. You don't have to cut the ends off. It doesn't matter because we're gonna throw it in that pot and it's gonna reduce down for a few hours. So just chop all of those vegetables up and we'll get started. So start by putting in those chicken bones into your large stock pot. Then go ahead and add in your roughly chopped vegetables. At this moment in time though, I do want to tell you, you can use other bones. You can use turkey, beef, anything for this. Chicken is just what I had, but use anything that you want to for this recipe. Um, it will all work the same. This is just a very basic kind of guide on how to make chicken stock. So. All right, then go ahead and add in your salt. I just like to use kosher salt for things like this. I just threw a couple pinches in there, um, no exact measurements. And then go ahead and add about three to five peppercorns in there. Don't grind them up, you just wanna keep them whole. So just throw some in there and then put in your aromatics. Alright, so once you've put everything in your stock pot, you're going to go ahead and fill this thing up with water. You want your water to be about an inch above your bones. So fill it up till it's about one inch above your bones. Once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and turn this uh, stock pot on medium high heat. We're going to bring it up to a nice boil. So during this time, I did switch lids on my pot, so that's what you're seeing. Um, but keep an eye on this stock. We just want to bring it up to a boil for just a moment. Once we've done that, we want to bring it down, the heat down to a low to medium heat. So I set mine on three. Um, and just give it a nice stir here. You might see some type of a, kind of a scummy foam on the top of yours. This stock did not have it. But if you do have that, it's not a big deal. Just go ahead and kind of ladle some of that off. So if you do have any of that scum, just scum just pull it off it's not a big deal but give it a nice little stir we're gonna put this lid back on for three to four hours so this is just a quick little check-in a few hours in but stocks looking good once again if you had some of that scum little foam stuff pull it off and let's keep going all right guys so the chicken stock is done it's been about three and a half to four hours we're gonna start by putting it on the counter and grab a bowl and some tongs and just pull out as many of those bones and vegetable scraps as you can. We are now gonna just strain this uh, stock through a fine mesh strainer just to get the last bit of bones and vegetable particles out of it. Um, you can also strain the bowl of bones that we put aside earlier. I did this actually off camera because you want to get every last little bit of this stock. I'm telling you this is going to elevate all of your dishes. You are going to be a stock fanatic now after you make this. But once you're done with that, just go ahead and fill these up in some ball jars. And I like to store these in my refrigerator overnight to let them cool down because they are very hot. And then the next day I will transfer it to the freezer. Um, but yeah, once you've done that, make sure you label them. Just throw some masking tape on there with what it is and the date so you know later on. And store them. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. 
this is really going to help elevate your cooking. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure and hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell so you get notified when I post new videos. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.